hey guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing a sephora haul i wanted to show you guys what i got um from the sephora vib and actually i really did not get a lot of stuff at all because i was kind of broke during that time <laughs> and it just seems like this year i've just had a lot of other really big priorities uh like you know my car and getting my new place and all that stuff so um i was just really broke so i only got a couple essentials and then there were a couple things that I kind of decided I was not getting. And then they sent out during Cyber Week like a $25 off coupon. So I went ahead and got a couple other things. So I'm going to show all of those to you right now. So let's just get started. And maybe I should pull out everything that I actually got during the actual VIB sale. I think that would be easiest so you can see where my priorities were. Okay, well the first thing they actually sent to me is this. I guess this is a gift for getting to Rouge. Which, you know, I don't know if that's something that I want to celebrate or not. It means I've spent a lot of money with them. Um, but this is a Sephora VIB Rouge. I haven't actually tried it, but I know that it's extremely soft because I did kind of fill on it. <laughs> um, it's just a brush. I need to clean it though, but it is so, I mean, if this is how their brushes is feeling, I really need to see if they have eye brushes. So if you have Sephora brand brushes that you like, let me know. I mean, I really like the Sephora brand in general, um, but I haven't tried any brushes. So let me know if there's some good brushes in the line. Okay, so here's everything else that I got. I picked up another one of my favorite foundations. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. I get it in the shade 460 Suede W. I was shade match, and this was the closest that they could get to me because I'm really more in between a couple shades. Um, in between two shades but the issue is that that other shade pulls more gray or pinky on me it was not a good look so I can lighten this one up a little bit and then it works out fine it is the foundation that I have on today um, and I have just a little bit left in my bottle that I'm using Ugh, can I open this <laughs> um, they changed the packaging I hope that that is all that they changed that always makes me nervous so this is what the packaging looks like now um, and they kind of have like a little fancy thing right there on the top of the bottle so they did definitely change the packaging but I'm hoping that it's the same formula because I haven't heard anything about a new formula and there was nothing wrong with the old formula so I did pick up another one of these because this is one of my favorite oh, my hair is itching my hair is so dirty and I just kind of pulled it back so I picked that up and then I have a full review on this I told you guys that I loved it and that I plan to pick up um this bundle during the sephora vib and so i did go ahead and pick it up it's the urban decay all nighter long lasting makeup setting spray this really is the best setting spray that i have tried i do have a couple from the drugstore that i like but i like this one the best i think it really locks in my makeup for a long time and really holds the makeup together for a long time so this is absolutely my favorite and if you haven't seen it i'll just show you you get two bottles so here we go and also something I realized I had said in that review that I really liked the fact that it had that double reinforced cap but apparently that's just a thing that Urban Decay is doing because the full size have that reinforced cap but I also still appreciate that but I did think that that was unique to the travel size versions but it doesn't seem like it is but it is a really nice uh, touch and then I feel like I'm missing something Let me look. maybe this really is all I got it just seems like I got more considering the money. <laughs> oh, I did. I'm missing the other thing that I got that I don't have in here with me is I picked up a two pack of the Clarisonic Sensitive Brush Heads. They come in a box and I picked up uh, a two pack of those. The other thing I picked up is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I wear it in the shade Medium Dark 2 Caramel. This packaging. After this video, I'm throwing all this packaging away and finally putting this stuff up. I am struggling. Here we go. <laughs> so this concealer, I love. And this is one of those products that when I finish using it up, I really missed it so much. But it's just so expensive. This is a $30 concealer. I don't mind the smell. I don't really smell this too much when I put this on my face. It has a light scent too. It's very light. It's very faint. Um, but it's just the right color for me. I love the coverage and it really is radiant. It just looks so beautiful on the skin. So I love that. I love the staying power. And so I grabbed another one. And then the last thing that I picked up during the VIB sale 
is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. When I tell you I have wanted this for so, so, so long. I have wanted this for so long. And actually, if you guys remember, I did a huge... Can I open this? Maybe not. Oh, there we go. If you guys remember, I did a huge uh, like high-end makeup haul, actually, to kind of start off the year. And I bought those things inside Sephora. It was my first time going in Sephora, and I was so excited. Like, <laughs> I was so excited about being at Sephora. But when I went there, I actually went there looking for this palette, but they were sold out. And so I finally got my hands on it. It also comes with this that gives you some ideas on... You know some looks and stuff that you can do with it I will probably read over that but I'm just gonna play but this is what the palette looks like I was not expecting that this it says shade and light on it I was not expecting that to be raised but it is and then here is the palette right here I'm trying not to blind y'all with the mirror oh try not to blind y'all with the mirror hold on got it boom got it the I will say also like the mirror it doesn't flip down all the way so it kind of stops so this is really an awkward angle but this is what it looks like I'm a matte girl y'all know this and I just like this palette is just all matte I'm really hoping that it lives up to my expectation and that it's really pigmented and creamy and that the shades blend well I've only swatched them and they swatched incredible but you know that means nothing it could go either way so <laughs> I'll keep you posted but I picked that up and then a couple things that were actually still things that I wanted, but then I decided to wait on them and then I got them during Cyber Week. This one is one is like one of my favorite masks and this is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. And I'm so, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't believe, <laughs> it's late y'all. <laughs> I can't believe that I love this as much as I do simply because I have not had good luck with a lot of Origins products. I found them to be good products, but I found that I have been allergic to them all. And this is the one thing that causes no problems for me. It really clarifies my skin, but it's not super drying. And I'm so pleased with that considering that this is a charcoal mask because most of them are extremely drying. And I find that they just really dried out my skin and now having dry skin, it was just not, it was just not good. It was, it was doing more harm than good. And so this one is a charcoal mask that I can actually use that cleanses my skin and really purifies the skin, but it doesn't like strip my skin completely and it's not as drying as you would expect. Um, I don't really feel like my skin is super dried out after this. So I really love this mask and I went ahead and got the big size. I did used to have the smaller size. And then the other thing that I have wanted for a really long time is um, the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So I decided to get this kit and I was on the fence about it because this kit was $85. But I do think it's a good value to try both of these products out. I just went back and forth on it. But I do love the UFO oil. I actually have the um, full size UFO oil. I have the smaller one but I have it in a full size. And I love it. And I really wanted to try this serum out. So this is the Sunday Riley power couple kit and it has the good jeans all-in-one lactic acid serum in it and it also has the luna sleeping night oil so i'll show you guys what that looks like i also want to take my makeup off so i can take some footage of my skin before i start using this so here it is here and you get i'll show you the bottle nice size of the good jeans and it says that you can use this a.m. or p.m. and I am just so excited to try this out I really hope I like it and then the other thing and the UFO oil that I got is actually this size bottle so this is gonna last me a really long time because it only takes a little bit of these oils to go an extremely long way in my opinion um, so this is the Luna sleeping night oil and let's see how it smells and it is actually a blue oil A lot of people say it smells bad. I don't mind the smell of it. I just think it's very natural. All right, you guys. So that is everything that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Oh, <laughs> I'm ending the video. No, I picked up one other thing. <laughs> this is the Kills Midnight Recovery Eye. Oh, you know what? I'm going to leave that in there, too. How can I forget this? I was so excited about this. This is the other thing that I picked up. So I've heard really good things about Kills. This is the... Have I tried anything from Kiehl's? No. This is the first thing 
that I have tried that I'm trying from Kiehl's and I'm normally really I normally don't venture with eye cream my favorite eye cream is the 100% pure caffeine coffee coffee bean eye cream and I just it's my favorite I love it so much but I decided to get something else so this is the Midnight Recovery Eye, and it says that it has um, essential oils and botanicals, and it's supposed to give you fresher, younger-looking eyes, and it's supposed to help uh, visibly reduce puffiness and diminish the appearance of fine lines. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so I'm going to try it out. I do have um, a little bit of fine lines up under my eyes, and yeah, you know. So I'm going to try it out, and then I will get back to you guys and let you know can't really smell anything coming off of it but after I use it for a while I will get back and report on these things and let you guys know how they work out the hope of course is that all of these things will work out well for me and they will be money well spent but of course we're gonna have a conversation about that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video this really is the end now <laughs> I appreciate you for your time and I will see you in the next video bye